The federal government says it is embarking on a close investigation of the rating index, which Transparency International used to rate Nigerians in the last 10 years. It said it has noted some gaps and discrepancies in the methodologies adopted by TI and therefore wondered why the ratings of Nigeria in some sectors have remained the same for some years now. Minister of Information and Culture, Halai Mohammed, gave this indication while briefing State House correspondents after this week's Federal Executive Council meeting. The minister said the government is convinced that consistently low ratings of Transparency International were due to the opaqueness of the current ease of doing business models in the country. We, 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 we take this rating seriously. So we actually went and analyzed the ratings. And we found that there's been some gaps, there's been some gaps, uh, uh, either that's not, we, have, we have not forwarded enough data, or they have not, you know, analyzed such data. Because we find it strange that the country's rating in certain areas remain the same for a period of, you know, 10 years. And we are, do, we, we are making, you know, uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are, we are, we are taking remedial measures so that we can, they can, uh, they, they can get this data in respect of these. Uh, 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 you know, sectors, because we believe that it's, it's not possible for you not to improve, for you not to uh, uh, um, lose points. Uh, we believe that um, overall, by the time we finish, by the time our, reform, our various reforms in the areas of, you know, uh, either the ease of doing business, and other preventive measure, by the time they start taking effect, our rating in the next uh, in the next year of TI would have substantially you know improved. Meanwhile, the ministers of the Federal Capital Territory, Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, as well as PA, also briefed on their memos, which were considered and approved by the Council. Habilitation of Phase one of the Federal Secretariat, uh, which involves electromechanical systems, water systems, as well as other general rehabilitation. This is a secretariat that was commissioned in 1993, quite a long time ago. So we are doing massive rehabilitation of that. Uh, at a total cost of 8 billion, 110 million naira, 665,000, uh, 676 naira, 76 kobo. The Federal Ministry of Financial Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development presented a memo for the approval of uh, award of contract on the MPK 2010-10 fertilizer under the emergency agricultural intervention for states affected by conflict, insurgency, and also the 2018 uh, flood disaster uh, in favor of two companies uh, in the total sum of 922 million 803,383 naira 26 uh, kobo. And I'm happy to inform you that uh, Council graciously approved the award of that contract. These transformers are needed to replace the transformer that has been in system for the past 35 years. Uh, and it, uh, so as to, in order to improve quality of power supply to the national grid. So this has been graciously approved by the Federal Executive Council. The second one is the approval uh, for procurement of uh, the contract for the production and delivery of one million serialized meter script seal embossed with NEMSA inscription.
for three meter test station at Osho de Lagos, Port Harcourt and Kaduna. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.